I wanted to talk to you about the best event of the year for me. <laughs> we got a banging headline uh, this year. Are you able to see us? What's that? Can you see us on your side? Yes, I can. Okay. It's just not showing us on our side in the window. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the lineup this year. Uh, we have uh, the Lonely Ones, formerly known as Globaflex, um, Friday night as the headliners, and September morning is headlining on Saturday. And I saw them in Akron, what, about a month ago? Yeah. And I showed them pictures of the stage, and they said the stage is big enough they can have their monitors. They have two 43 inch TVs. So during the show, when they quit singing and everything goes black, they show cartoons, I guess, videos uh, on, on the monitors. That is great. I wanted to see if you could talk a little bit about the history of this show. Um, we've been doing Tiki Sticks since 2015, the first year. It was a beer Olympics that everybody got too drunk and no Olympic events happened. <laughs> uh, yeah. And in 2016 is when we started having the bands. First year, it was Toxic Headline. Um, the second year, Boba Flex Headline. And our stage consisted of stacks of pallets. It was just, well, the first year, it was just the cement behind the barn. The second year, we had pallets on the cement. And then, like I taller stack for the drum for a drum riser and it has blossomed to this huge stage that we're sitting on um that's what probably five feet up so you can see every everything yeah it's pretty massive yeah. i mean well the, the scene behind us is from off the stage so. yeah and this year we're working on um making a green room uh at the one end of the barn so every year is a little bit better, a little bit better. That's excellent. And I wanted to also ask you if you could tell me um, what was your de what uh, made your decision to hold this event? Um, my husband and I used to go to a lot of shows, like a lot of shows, and we'd pack. I think the most we had were fourteen in a van going to Columbus to see either Mushroom Head or Boba Flex, one of them. Um, I wanted to bring Northern music to Central Ohio, bands like Metal Mafia, um, Psychosis, who else? Uh, the Wolf Hunters. Yeah, the Wolf uh, Hunters here more recently. But, you know, it's like none of the... Yeah, none of... None of the Cleveland, Akron, Youngstown, none of the what it be, Northwestern Ohio bands, you can't, you couldn't, you can't see them in Columbus. They weren't coming here. And I didn't understand why it, it's like, there's their group and then there's our group. And I go to Cleveland a lot to see shows. Uh, so I kind of wanted to bring Northern Ohio to central Columbus or to central Ohio. And um, my husband passed away in March of 2015, and it's kind of like a tribute to him, too, um, keeping that music alive. And being out here, we've got plenty of room. Uh, we've started doing, after COVID, we started doing the two-day and offering, you know, letting people camp out uh, because all these bands wanted to come. I have people texting me starting in January to see if I'm doing it. Yeah, bands on waiting list. <laughs> yeah. A lot of bands on waiting list, and uh, it just it kept getting bigger and bigger. Uh, John and I both belong to an organization called Association of the Wicked that was started by Jeremiah Stratton, the drummer from Head PE, and it's all about people like us, tattoos, different colored hair, um, you know, the freaks of the world. Regular organizations, they don't want people like us because we don't set a good example for their organization. So Jeremiah wow. kind of, so right, he start, he kind of started his own. It's for like-minded individuals and everything, um, all the different branches around the United States do things for charity. 
uh, we've, I've been to a, um, uh, an event in Akron that all the proceeds went to um, the local Humane Society. Um, here this year, as of last year, uh, all the proceeds, the net proceeds are going to go to the Cancer Society. We got, we I sent them $250 last year. Um, the year before that, that was that COVID. Yeah. The year before that, it was uh, American Heart the Heart Association. Yeah. And and the organizations we pick, it's because there's some kind of tie. Um, a friend of ours passed away from heart failure uh, in 2019. And that's why we decided to give to the Heart Association. Um, about three months ago, my niece died of cancer. Uh, so that's why we decided to do the Cancer Society again this year. Well, I think it's a great um, sponsorship and it's a great uh, event. Um, Thank you. What's the best way to get tickets to the event? Uh, we do have tickets online. There, The Facebook page has the link to get tickets. It goes to the Wix website for the Tiki Bar. Um, you can purchase tickets there. Uh, Casey Zans, Dirty Dirt, and Big Toke all have tickets. Um, they have them in, in hand already uh, that they're selling. Uh, and M MPV Vapor locally here in Round Marion uh, has tickets. It, it's a really good price, too. $30 for two days. Really good. Yeah, show. you can't beat uh, that. You can't see no. some bands for thirty dollars. No, exactly. not all these bands. And like some of them are making comebacks as well, like Roxy May. Yeah. So they're they're a comeback. Uh, Titans in Time uh, is from up around up north. I think they might be actually from Cleveland. Uh, Dirty Dirt, uh, Casey Zans, uh, Big Toke, and Counting Gravestones. They're all from up north. Uh, Crow the Saint is local. I hear they're really good. I haven't seen them yes. yet. Yes, they are really good. Um, Although they do have a new bass player. Yes. Uh, Jaw Dust is local. They're like down the road and around the corner. Uh, new Bloomington, Lay Rue area. Uh, let's see. Lines of Loyalty is actually from Wisconsin. They're the only um, one that's been an Ohio band this year because technically, Lonely Ones, uh, even though they're from West Virginia, they're. Yeah. They're, Columbus. Yeah, they've all kind of located, relocated to Columbus. And um, September Morning is actually from Cincinnati. Yes. Yeah. Um, Breathing Theory started out in Marion. Most of the band lives in Florida now, but they're when they go on tour, their drummer is a guy from Marion. And a lot of these bands are actually going to be playing some of the big festival circuits this year, too. They're going to have some uh, nice names. So. Yeah. Yeah, the lineup uh, seems to get better every year. Oh, thank you. Oh, I forgot about Artifacts. They're from Columbus. And they were here last year, too. And Dam is just, he's awesome. He's an awesome person and a great vocalist. Yeah. And as far as uh, accommodations there for the two days, uh, what will be there? Um, of course, we, all, we have free camping. Um, for anybody that wants to stay, RVs are welcome, campers, tents, it don't mean you can sleep in your car if you want. Um, and we have three food trucks coming this year that are going to be here for both days. It's Dragon's Barbecue Pit, uh, CJ's Bitchin' Kitchen, and Machete Takiro, the same taco people that were here last year. Sounds great. Along with other entertainers. Yes, other entertainments, lots of vendors. Um, I'm still working on getting a full list of vendors together. Have some uh, interesting stuff this year, too. So, some stuff if people actually follow the Raw Ohio Meltdown on my show. Uh, they'll know some of the surprises coming at Tiki Stick. So we're uh, releasing some stuff on there. Um, plus, uh, she wanted some fire spinning this year, and uh, that's what we've been learning how to do. So there's going to be some fire spinning at Tiki Stick this year for first time. Because we've only had that at a Halloween party, I do believe. Right? Yeah. There's usually this is usually the hula hoop people, the lighted up lit up hula hoops. Yeah. So we'll have LED spinners and uh, at least one fire spinner. 
trying to get a couple more. But she's trying to talk to uh, her daughter into spending five hours. Yeah. <laughs> she's pretty good at it. She's pretty good. And I wanted to also ask you, um, being in your location, have you guys been to Heritage by uh, Ohio State? No. No, I have not. Very good club if you ever get a chance to go that way. Okay, Heritage, huh? Cool. Yeah. Well, yeah it's in, uh, Rosa is now, I saw I saw a post, uh, yeah, just uh, I think yesterday, last night, The Rock, Professor Peace Dime. The rock is still there, but the rose has been leveled and the apartments are almost finished. Yeah, the rock, they had to move the back to the back up to the front. But yeah, since so that's been more than one, the clubs a lot. It's a really nice club. Yeah. It's over by where the old Osheki used to be. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Way back in the day, it used to be the R&R, the yeah. R&R bar. Yeah, yeah it's, uh has a balcony. It's kind of like a little Newport. There, but it's hmm. pretty nice. A lot of big acts coming, so but it's where I've mostly been going to. <laughs> Newport's another great one. Yeah, a lot of history in the Newport. Oh yeah, we actually are planning on going there on July 23rd for the uh, return of Boba Flex at uh, the Blitch's 30th anniversary bash. Actually, so uh, show. I'm sure we'll have tickets available there for purchase too if people run into it. Oh yeah. So yeah, I know. Uh, I don't know. I'm older than you guys, but Zeppelin uh, had played there. Sabbath has played there. Many great bands have played in. The, I saw. I saw Fort. Zeppelin um, cover band. They do the whole. Um, what's the movie? Swan Song. Is that the movie? No, that's the latest. Song remains the same. That's it. Zosa does the whole movie, like song for song. And uh, I was actually with me and Tony went and saw him on Valentine's Day in 2015. I still have the poster hanging up in my room. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, could you shout out the dates for everyone so they can mark it on their calendar and get out there? <laughs> the first weekend in August, that's August 5th and 6th uh, on Friday. Doors open at 4. Music starts at 5. On Saturday, the doors open at 2, the music starts at 3, but actually the music will be starting at 2 for the people that spend the night or get here early. Um, Big Toke and Dirty Dirt are going to do, um, I wouldn't call it a duet, they're going to do a little, what's the word? I don't know. They're getting their own little group together with just the two of them. They're both rappers. And then Casey Zanz is going to do Doing another a special, set. special yeah, set. A special. And then Casey Zanz is going to do um a set too like like the pre-show excellent and any other information you'd like to get out there for everybody um no no come prepared huh <laughs> prepared to have fun yeah that's right. the best time i had a long time coming there. Great atmosphere, oh, well, great people. So Everyone is friendly. It's a great environment. Thank you. Well, I wanted to thank you for taking time to speak with me today. It's been an absolute pleasure as always speaking with you. All right, thank All right. you. No problem. You have a great rest of your night. Hey, you too, and happy Memorial Day. Yep, have a good happy one. Memorial Day. Yeah. See you at the see you there. Yep. Yes. Yes. There you Take care of my friends. You, you too. too. Mm, bye.